Alright, so this just happened. Look, so the Baton Rouge Police Department responsible for NBA Youngboy's September 2020 arrest is reportedly at the center of a massive corruption scandal. According to WAFB9, District Attorney Hiller Moore's office is dropping 640 drug cases tied directly to potential corruption within the BRPD's narcotics division. Cases dropped range from possession to drug charges dating back as far as 2015. Of the 640 cases, all were handled by officers Jeremiah Ardoin and Jason Nacree, who are both charged after a departmental investigation appeared to expose corruption within the agency. The case dismissals come nearly a month after four high-ranking detectives within the Narcotics Division, St. Drew White, Lieutenant Jeff Pittman, Sergeant Shane Moach, and Sergeant Seth Sinclair were reassigned, although they haven't been accused of any wrongdoing. Youngboy was picked up in Los Angeles on an outstanding federal warrant last week and quickly taken into FBI custody following a dramatic foot chase. As suspected, the warrant stemmed from the aforementioned September 2020 incident in which 16 people were busted in a Baton Rouge parking lot on multiple drugs and weapons charges. Following a vehicle search, BRPD officers wound up seizing handguns, rifles, drugs, $47,000 in cash, multiple pieces of jewelry, and a $300,000 check made out to the platinum selling rapper. On March 24th, the 21-year-old father of seven was indicted on charges of illegal possession of firearms by a felon and possession of an unregistered weapon. Federal agents claimed that he had a pistol and 9mm handgun when he was arrested, which he's prohibited from possessing due to a previous felony on his record for aggravated assault. A Los Angeles County court judge set young boy's bond at $540,000 last week, which he expected to post as early as Tuesday, March 30th, but only if a Louisiana judge approves. New York City-based attorney Mohamed Ganga who often covers high-profile rap cases shared an Instagram update regarding Youngboy's release on Friday, March 25th, and he explained how the state of Louisiana has the final say. The bond for Youngboy out of California is a $540,000 bond. He put up a half a million in cash. In addition, he put up as collateral two properties worth in excess of $1.5 million, and he has to wear an ankle monitor. However, he's not going to be on house arrest. According to the bond set by the California judge, he simply has to wear the ankle monitor but is otherwise free to travel. This is very big. Why? Given that the California judge found that these circumstances are sufficient for a young boy, why would a Louisiana judge find any differently? The Louisiana judge is looking at the same facts, he's looking at the same charges, and he's making a decision under the exact same federal law. Sure, it's a different court and a different circuit, and law and the way the laws are applied vary somewhat from state to state from circuit. It shouldn't vary a lot. If this California judge said, hey, this much money and these restrictions are good, it would be very, very weird for a Louisiana judge to say, oh no, no amount of money and no restrictions. That would be very uncommon. I fully expect that the Louisiana judge on Tuesday will release Young Boy on Sunday. But yeah, what do you guys think? Are you surprised that there's corruption going on in that Louisiana Police Department? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button and notification button to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.